Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Planer Mouse. A while back we shot these bulletproof glass bullets and they're polycarbonate or Lexan or whatever trade name you want to use and they have a heavy carbide bit in the nose of them to make them nose heavy. Now these things were difficult to film because they were more or less clear but you could see it curving to off to the left and then curving back to the right. Totally missing our target. Now Tim also made a version of these rounds made out of Teflon. They're about 22 grams in weight. They also have the carbide weight in the nose, but I added this long plastic polyethylene uh, tail onto them. Now of course we can't load it in tail end first, we'll load it in backwards, and as it comes out of the gun it should flip around and stabilize the round. Backwards firing projectile. Went high, but it. What did it do to our. Oh, or my microwave cover. I got My wife's gonna be pissed. <laughs> There's a freaking hole the size of your head. Yeah, it tore a new one. Maybe there's hope. Now we'll fire it about 70 yards at our truck door. Ready? Yep. Ready? Yep. And now we'll shoot the polycarbonate round with the tail on it. Now we don't have to guess what happened with these rounds. We have three high-speed cameras. Let's watch what happens. The first Teflon round just grazed the watermelon, yet it ripped a giant gash in the microwave oven cover made out of steel, very thin steel. Flying at supersonic speeds, you can see the tremendous forces applied to that polyethylene flexible tail. Now we had a little better accuracy with this polyethylene tail on there, but it was still flying very erratically. With the second shot of the Teflon round, Darren did manage to hit the watermelon, but you can see the round still wanted to fly sideways despite having that long tail on there. That's why supersonic aerodynamics is so bizarre. And of course, a lot of these problems could be fixed with a rifled barrel if the round was sized properly but the challenge for us is to shoot them out of a smooth bore. Now Teflon's a kind of a dense polymer. It's a lot denser than normal plastic, but it's not particularly strong. And you can see pieces of it tumbling around after it hit the watermelon. Now we wanted to see how the round would perform at a longer distance. So this is about 70 yards. The round just got crazier. I think it went subsonic and that's when it finally stabilized and started kind of flying straight but that's one of the weirdest flying rounds I've ever seen and when we filmed this we had no idea where the round actually went so let's watch the real-time footage one more time after reviewing this footage I finally saw a splash out there about 300 yards now this is the Lexan round with the tail on it and it did some weird stuff too. The round actually skipped off the ground and then it went right through the window of the truck door. Now it's pretty uncommon for a round to stabilize and continue flying at the target you're aiming at naturally. Now if you look closely on this shot you'll see that the dust kicks up before the round actually impacts and that's due to the shockwave, the, the air compressed ahead of the round. It's always fun coming home, reviewing the footage, and seeing all the weird things that actually happened when we were shooting these things. I just started a new Facebook page. Yep, you got another place to go and call me names. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.